Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you the most common error that you will face when you use block in your Flutter application, which is either provider not found error or context doesn't contain the block that you wanted to access to. If you are new to block in Flutter, feel free to check out the Flutter block tutorial in this channel. So here I have created an elevator button that will navigate to the home page. In this counter application, I have created a counter block that holds a count value. And now in the home page, I want to read the count value in the counter block. And to access to the counter block, we will wrap the content widget with block builder. And now we can access to the counter block state value. Now we can hot restart the application and when we navigate to the home page, we will run into the block error. And this is the error. Could not find the correct provider above this block builder widget. So whenever you want to access to block resources like block state or block event, you need to firstly create a provider of that block. And this error is telling you that above the block builder widget, it cannot find the correct provider. So the solution for this error is to wrap the block builder with the block provider and provide the required block details. And now you can see when we navigate to the home page, the error is resolved. However, we got into another issue, which is the count value doesn't come from the same counter block instance. Let me show you in the app. When we increment the count value to 5 and we navigate to the home page, the count value shown in the home page is 0, which is the default value. This shows that both pages block count value doesn't come from the same block instance. And the reason to this is because we use the create function in block provider. This create function will create a new block instance whenever it's executed. So we have one create function for block provider in the main page and one in the home page. So whenever we navigate between pages, it will create a different instance and read different count value. So now I will show you how you can read the same block instance throughout different pages or different routes. In order to do that, firstly, we have to remove the create function. And instead of block provider widget, we will use block provider dot value. And it takes a value input instead of a create function. And the value will be the block provider created in the previous page which is the main page, so that they have access to the same block instance value. Don't forget to pass the build contacts because contacts keep track of all the parents' widgets. And this is not done yet. If we run the application now, we will get into an error as well. And this is another common block error when you try to access the same block instance from different routes. So the error says that the block provider dot off called with a context that does not contain the block. As I mentioned earlier, if you want to access to the block state or event, you have to create the provider as the parents of the block builder widgets. So how Flutter knows that you have created the provider as the parent widgets? Flutter uses build context to check. Build context does nothing but just keep track of all the parents widgets. So whenever Flutter build context look through all the parent widgets and doesn't found the block provider, and it will throw this error. So the build context in the home page and the build context in the main page is two different build contexts. So in the main page, we have added a block provider to the context. However, in the home page, the build context is newly created specific for that page, which is why in the home page build context, it can't find the block provider for the counter block. So since only the context in the main page have the block provider, the solution to fix this is to pass the build context in the main page to the home page. So here I will pass the context through the navigation arguments. So in the home page, I will retrieve the arguments that pass through the navigation and pass it to the block provider dot value.
So now we got the context argument value. Instead of passing the context created in this page, we will pass in the context that comes from the main page, which is the block context variable. And this will fix the error. Now when we increment the value to 5 and we click on navigate, you can see that in the home page, it's showing the same count value that shows in the main page, which is 5. And this is how we share the same block resources like states or event between different routes. So that now whenever you change the state or update the state in this page, when you navigate to another page that read the same state value, it will reflect immediately to be responsive. As a conclusion, these are the errors that you will face when you use Flutter block in your application. In this tutorial, I have shown you what causes those errors and how to fix them, as well as how to read the same block instance throughout different routes. If you have any question regarding Flutter block, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.